retreat often. Let me explain a little bit about this. Retreating is basically about taking somebody's message and passing it on. And retreating, I love saying that word, it messes me up so bad, can help you gain new followers, but it also helps you get some what I call retweet love because you know, you're know you passing on great information. So here's what's happened in, to me in the past when I was just getting started on Twitter. There was this, we'll call him a guru, and I actually thought he was a guru. <laughs> online that I followed that of course saw my name and did not follow me, didn't want anything to do with me because you know I'm a nobody in his eyes. Every couple of days I would retweet some of his posts that were really, really good and that were relevant to our customers. So I started doing it enough and started, you know, just maybe two or three a week just because they were that good. And then all of a sudden he decides that he's gonna follow me. For information. Then all of a sudden, he started retweeting my different tweets. So retweet love is wonderful. Retweet love is a wonderful, 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 wonderful thing, you know. And and it's not you're not doing it. Don't do it just to retweet. Don't do it to be selfish. Don't do it just because oh I'm going to get lots of followers this way. You want to be real. You want to be honest about it. Again, I'm saying the word real again. You know what I'm saying? You you really do want to be real here and 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 be honest to goodness with what you're doing. I mean if if you're got dog supplies and you've decided to brand Twitter with dog supplies. You may not want to retweet my messages about internet marketing. You know, on the other side, if you've got a personal brand with your name and you talk about SEO, you talk about how you have an e-commerce business, you talk about how you help you build traffic, you want to help other people to gain traffic, um, you want to help other people start e-commerce sites and give them any advice because you've done it as well and you want to be a person that they go to and can say, hey, I had a problem with this, can you help me to figure out what I'm doing wrong, then yeah. Yeah, go ahead and retweet those type of messages. It's kind of like search engine optimization. You want to keep it very, very relevant. So again, that's why I prefer to put in those very small URLs so that way the message can be retweeted. And another thing about using short URLs, you might think that, well, this leaves enough room to put retweet at my username. However, if it's a really good message, I've seen where, for instance, president of Worldwide Brands, Colette Marshall, Wonderful, 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 wonderful lady. If you're not following her, you should be, especially if you're in e-commerce because she is absolutely phenomenal. She retweeted one of my messages. So it said, Colette Marshall, retweet Shauna Fennell, and then somebody retweeted that message. So then it said, retweet Colette Marshall, retweet Shauna Fennell, and then it had the message. So because I used a tiny URL, that left plenty of room for the multiple retweets. And that way, everybody gets to share in the retweet love is what I call it. It's like, it's like, you know, we all love each other. And the other thing that I absolutely try to make sure that I do is when people retweet my messages, I try once a day to send out a multiple message thing to everybody that says, hey, thank you so much for the retweet love. There's a thing that's called Follow Friday where you recommend people to follow on Fridays. And I try to even include the people that retweet me in that Follow Friday list and say, hey, you know, these people retweet me quite a bit and I love them, so give them some Follow Friday love.